This is just my personal thoughts on the design of the Orange Storm and not a review of the product. The Orange Storm has seriously captured my imagination. I think Elegoo have created an audacious design in what is currently a relatively safe maker space. Looking at some of the video reviews, the product needs some fine tuning. The filament delivery and flow rate need some serious work. The build plate solution, however, seems very well thought out and provides a neat cost-effective solution for such a large build volume. If you have a specific need for a printer of this size, the Orange Storm appears to be very good value. But I think the elephant in the room is who would have a specific need to use this 3D printer effectively. In the promo video we see a designer or architect using this to create an architectural model. This is totally unrealistic. A design professional's time is money. No design professional would seriously allow or have the spare presentation time to a creator model that may take days to complete and might fail. Also, I know from experience that you can spend days converting an architectural model to work with an FDM printer. Even if you ignore all that, basic architectural detail like sills, roof, eaves require revision or large amounts of support to make a crisp print. Much better to produce a laser cut model direct from the basic design elevations in a 20th of the time. Likewise, with furniture design, no one would seriously consider printing a workable piece of furniture vertically with an FDM printer. As in this clip from the Swedish Makers video, you would naturally consider taking advantage of the large build volume to print component parts horizontally, then assemble post-print. The Orange Storm could be useful to produce furniture drill jigs, but again, you could buy a decent CNC to do the job much more quickly for a similar cost or less. So after all these illustrations, where am I going with this? Elegoo have clearly put a lot of thought into this product, yet they have created something that does not really seem to have a specific use case. Creating a huge beast that many users will be unable to accommodate. I therefore think there is a strong case for an alternative pancake version of the Storm Giga. This would utilise all the good work implemented in the cost-effective build volume design and perhaps remove some of the issues associated with taller printers like excessive ringing and filament tangling, going one further and providing a hinged support frame to mount all the electronics. That also provides a vertical storage solution for the printer when not in use. This would retain the large X and Y builds volume for architects, designers and prop makers, but make the product much more easily accommodated in a smaller workshop or studio space. Personally, I would seriously consider something like this. What are your thoughts on the Orange Storm and its usability? I will leave my YouTube reference sources in the description below. Thanks for watching.